So it's the end of day four of the Octopus Cozy 9 heat pump installation. If you haven't watched the other videos in this series, then you can see the link for them in the video description. But we're now all done. It's all finished, handover's complete, and the heat pump is all up and running. So they actually finished at about uh, 11 o'clock this morning, uh, getting it all tested and working. And then they spent the rest of the day just doing finishing touches, tidying up, doing the lagging on all the piping and everything. Then we got the cozy hub connected to my Wi-Fi. It's the hub inside that connects to the Wi-Fi rather than the heat pump outside, which is obviously good because then you don't have to worry about Wi-Fi signals going through walls. And then we got the app all set up. You can see the, the zone for the uh, heating, the zone for the hot water, set the schedules and see the current temperature and everything on there. We've been given three cozy hubs, uh, one for each floor of the house, and that will show you the temperature in each floor of the house and you can press the button on there to boost the heating up to a higher level for one hour if you want to. It will only ever boost to the temperature at your primary hub, uh, which is the one that we've set for the upstairs here. But yeah, let me show you inside the cupboard now that it's all nicely lagged. All looking much nicer and neater than that awful rabbit's nest of wires that were in there already. Uh, we've got the expansion vessel that they've fitted, uh, which that's a safety thing just to take any excess pressure out of the hot water cylinder if need be. This old one, the installers that did stuff here before, not quite sure what they did with that and where the piping goes and everything. So that's been left in place to be on the safe side. But yeah, so I'm going to be spending the next few days getting used to how it all works and uh, playing around with the app. Of course, we'll only really be using hot water at the moment, not heating, uh, but I'll be setting up the schedule on that to be heating it up overnight between the hours of half 11 at night and half five in the morning because I'm on Intelligent Octopus Go, which means my electricity rate is only seven pence per kilowatt hour overnight. If you're not with Octopus Energy and you want to join, then there's a link in the video description. That's my referral link, which will get you £50 bill credit when you join. And it'll also give me £50 bill credit too. So we're splitting £100. And if you're thinking about getting a heat pump or solar panel system installed by Octopus Energy, then my referral code will also get you £100 off your installation. So make sure you give them that when you place your order. If you've enjoyed this little video series so far, please give it a thumbs up. And if you've got any questions that you'd like me to cover in a bit of a Q&A video later on, then once I've had a chance to get used to it, then please pop those questions below and I'll try and answer as many as I can in the comments. And I'll also do a little video. And of course, I'll be keeping you updated on how I find using it, if I have any problems or issues and how it works with just using hot water for now. And then of course, come winter time, I'll be able to tell you how it's working in a, in a British winter. And we'll have to see what winter we get this year. But uh, thanks for watching so far. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, stay in touch for more on the Octopus Cozy 9 heat pump.